Hello aviators, Elad Mirovic here. Today we're going to talk about density altitude, what is it, why it's important, and what can be the consequences of not taking it into account. Let's take a look. Here is what happened here. The pilot attempted to take off, the aircraft barely lifted off, and couldn't climb out and clear the trees. But what could cause that? That was due to high density altitude that most likely was not taken into account by the pilot. What is density altitude? Density altitude is a pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. What? Let me unpack this. Density altitude is the altitude that the aircraft think it's at. Or in other words, it's the altitude that the aircraft will perform as it will be at. A quick example. If the aircraft is at an airport of 5,000 feet elevation above sea level and the density altitude is 9,000, the aircraft will perform on the ground as it is at 9,000 feet. Its starting point on the ground is 9,000 feet. Elevation 6,263 feet. Because of the effects of atmospheric pressure and temperature, the present air density at this airport is equivalent to an altitude of 8,500 feet. Honey, the reservations are okay, and I've got a car. Listen, I've been reading this density altitude sign. Don't you think you ought to check it before you leave? Yeah, yeah, okay. High density altitude means that the air is less dense. The higher the elevation, the higher the density altitude. The higher the temperature, the higher the density altitude. And the higher the humidity, the higher the density altitude. The higher the altitude, the worse the performance of the aircraft because the air is thinner and thus less air molecules are flowing above and below the wing while creating less lift. You didn't read that sign. Honey, I meant to. I guess I've forgotten all the excitement. In the next few minutes, Harry will regret he didn't. For once again, he has come face to face with the adverse effects of density altitude. a little sluggish this morning. Working against him, the density altitude at Tahoe this day decreased Harry's rate of climb more than he ever expected. But Harry never seems to learn. Now, it's not only the reduced lift by the wings that affects the aircraft. Because the propeller is an airfoil and is just like wing, the propeller creating less thrust. Add to that a piston engine and the engine itself creating less power. So less lift, less thrust, and less power, and the results, well, we just saw it. As usual, his approach, high and fast. This time, nothing is in his favor. Altitude, 9,100 feet. Temperature in the high 70s. The 1,800 feet of runway quickly pass under him. power on his rate of climb barely 350 feet per minute. There is a certain altitude for each aircraft that is when the aircraft is reaching there it literally can't climb anymore because the air is just too thin. That is called absolute ceiling. For example Cessna 172 can reach about 15,000 feet and most passenger jets can reach about 42,000 feet. Some business jets can climb to as high as 52,000 feet. But before reaching there, the aircraft will climb very very slowly and that's what we've seen in the video. There are a few ways to calculate density altitude, either with mechanical or electrical E6B, with charts 
or with simple calculation. Here is how you calculate it. What? Well, don't you have one of these uh, computers? I guess we left it at home. Not a face to have it with you all the time. It's handy and simple to use. After you have calculated the density altitude, you should refer to the specific airplane make and model manuals and check the performance of the aircraft. You may find that you can't take off or can barely climb and thus will have to cancel the flight. When you have a high temperature and a high elevation and uh, a low pressure system over the area and maybe a little moisture, you have all the variables that make up density altitude. Absolutely. Temperature, pressure, altitude and moisture make up density altitude. Your computer will help you determine it regardless of your altitude. Remember, it's better to be on the ground wishing you were in the air than be in the air wishing you be on the ground. Now about this specific video. They experienced high density altitude, flying out of mountainous terrain and were heavy. I doubt that the pilot made any calculations before the flight. You can see that they were barely able to take off and the pilot should have aborted the takeoff. He had plenty of opportunities to abort and for some reason he didn't. Even after liftoff he should have immediately returned for landing straight ahead when he saw that the aircraft was barely climbing. Sadly they ended up crashing and the pilot suffered the most injuries. Luckily there were no fatalities. At every high altitude airport, especially when it's hot and or humid, always check density altitude and refer to the performance of the aircraft. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Fly safe.